Hello everybody, we are back here on the Hunter Called Wild, and today we're gonna head out for another true mule hunt. Now, recently I was watching one of uh, DD33's live streams, and he was at this little lake right here. It's kind of in the middle of the map, uh, roughly. And there was a ton of mule deer here, and sure enough, I come over here myself, and we've got this level 4 dilute just chilling right here. So we're gonna take him out, and there's also a decent level four right there so we're gonna get both of these guys down i was wondering where all of my level fours were and it looks like a couple of them were up here so let's get these guys down right now and we will see if we can get anything else good after this we'll wait for him to get his head up and then we'll probably take the shot Ooh, i got scared on that first shot since we missed it but we got it on the second one, so let's go ahead and jump out of this tree stand. Now, I went ahead and put a few different tree stands. We've got one right here. Uh, we have a couple, I believe there's one up at one of these trees, and then I've got one up at one of those trees. So, we got a decent amount of angles so that we can pretty much see all the herds at this lake. Because this lake actually does have quite a few, which is pretty awesome. I definitely plan to hunt here more in the future. In fact, this little guy didn't actually run. So let's get him down while we're at it. And now we'll go up and claim those three. All right, so here we are with our first buck. I believe this is the second level four that we shot. So let's go ahead and get this guy picked up. It looks like it's gonna be a pretty decent one, in fact. Ooh, yeah, that's really cool. I don't think I've killed this one before. That is an awesome rack. Look at the split tines at the front. That is so cool. Okay, we have to taxidermize this guy because I actually don't think I've got this one yet. That's an awesome rack. I love this right here. Like, that's so cool that it's got the split front tines. That is awesome. It honestly looks like a giant white tail. What a beautiful mule deer. I'm very happy with that. Here is that little dilute that we got. This one should score around the same, maybe slightly less. Still a good size dilute regardless though. Yeah, 239.50. That is actually a really funky rack. That's a really cool rack. When we first shot it, it didn't look like anything special, but now that we have it on the harvest screen, that actually is a cool one. I definitely like how this, this tine right here is kind of angled inward. And it's got the sticker on this side. You know, something else that I noticed it appears that they don't automatically rotate anymore. Because as you can see, this is staying still. It used to automatically rotate around like this. And it made it very hard to look at the trophies without having to hold down on it. So that's nice. That's a nice little change. I like that. I didn't realize it until just now, so... Glad I know that now. But yeah, what a beautiful looking dilute right there. Not gonna tax it, but still really cool to get. And here is our last little guy. This is the level 3. Nothing too special about him, but it is one of the cooler looking level 3 racks. A solid little 4x4. Four four. Nice little mule buck for sure. Alright, so we got ourselves a level 4 there, and another one. Oh my gosh, they're all level 4s. Okay. Uh, well, we've had a couple days of barely finding any level 4s or bigger on my maps, but we've got 3 now right here. So I guess let's take these down. No other gun would be able to do those quick follow-ups, but with the way the M1 is now, that is absolutely a doable thing. That's crazy. I'm really happy they buffed the M1 because before the patch, that would have been very hard to pull off, being able to take down three level fours, but because of that, we were able to get all of them down, which is absolutely awesome. It helps us out quite a bit, saves us time. So that is awesome. Let's go ahead and claim these guys. They're all going to be decent bucks, probably around the 240 mark. I am kind of worried that I might have hit spine on one of them. I believe it was the second one that I shot. It looked like I might have been slightly high. So hopefully we weren't, but I feel like there's a good chance we did get vertebrae on one of them, but we do have vital blood, so maybe not. Go ahead and pick this guy up right here. 
That is a solid looking mule deer. That's a really nice rack. And it scores 229. This was, I believe, the first one we shot. What a beautiful buck. And both of those antlers are slightly different, actually. This one curls in more, and this one's actually a little bit down further. That's kind of a cool level 4. I'll take that any day. Let's see what these other two are. I believe the one that we just picked up is the lowest scoring one. Yeah, this guy's 250. This is actually a pretty good buck. This will be super good for respawns. And this is the one that we did heart shot, so... Good that we got this guy down in his tracks. Another solid looking level 4. Alright, let's see what the third one was. I'm still very curious how we hit it. Because I haven't seen the blood from it yet, and... Ooh, no organs hit. That's not a good sign. This has to be the one that I thought we might have been a little bit too high on. But I, I didn't think we'd be that high. It looks like we completely missed... Although, I guess they don't count spine as an organ, so maybe it was a spine shot. Alright, here it is. It didn't run too far, so I think we definitely hit the spine, which is unfortunate because that's a really good looking mule deer. That's one of the nicer little 4x4s. Yeah, 245 and we did hit spine. Oh, that's why it ducked down right as we shot. Otherwise, that probably would have clipped the top of the lung. But because it moved right as we shot, we got the vertebrae. That's unfortunate, because that's a solid looking rack. Unfortunate. Well, hopefully we'll have better luck on the next good mule deer we find. Alright, so I'm glad that I came over here when I did. We are at the end of drinking time, and these guys had just started leaving. And we have a level 4. Luckily they have a feeding zone that is very close to the lake. So, let's go ahead and take this guy out while we can. Since they don't lift their heads nearly as often when they're eating, we gotta take that shot whenever he gives us the chance, so now we got that guy down. That is awesome. It's gonna be a good size buck. That actually might be bigger than the ones we've already shot. Alright, here's that little buck right here. Yeah, that's definitely a good one. That's probably one of the biggest ones we've killed today. Yeah, 269.70. That right there is a really good looking mule deer. I believe this is what our nice looking dilute that we have in the lodge currently looks like, but the one that we got scores higher, so I'm not sure what the difference is, but this is definitely the same frame. Maybe just slightly smaller? It's hard to tell. We'll have to compare, maybe. Definitely good looking mule deer. I don't think I have this rack saved yet, so we're gonna put it in our mule deer lodge. Wait a minute. What is that right there? Wait, is what is that? Is that a dilute muley? Oh, oh my gosh, that's a bighorn sheep. I haven't seen an albino bighorn in so long. And the one that we got is a female. That is so cool. I literally look up from getting that mule deer and I spotted the two bighorn over here and I guess there's this little albino just sitting here in the brush. I think maybe we can make this shot. It's gonna be hard. Oh. I stand corrected. That absolutely dropped it. That had to have been a heart shot. There's no way it wasn't. But that's really cool. I haven't seen one of these in so long. They seem to be pretty rare. I don't hardly ever see anyone post them, so... Definitely not a common rare to find. It's the same with the Rocky Mountain Elk rares. They seem pretty hard to get too, besides the piebald, but... I think everybody can agree that the spawn rate of the piebald elk might be a little bit too high. Same with piebald pronghorn, but when it comes to albinos and melanistics, I think Rocky Mountain Elk and Bighorn are the two rarest. So there we go. There's an albino Bighorn. That is super cool. I wish it was a higher level, but I'll take anything. Any rare is a good rare. Go ahead and claim this little guy. 106.10. At least it's better than the female albino that we currently have in our lodge. So we will tax that. And yeah, that was a perfect shot. It didn't actually hit heart though. It was double lung liver. Well, I think what we're going to do now is we'll go change the time and hit up some of the other mule deer spots. Because there's at least three or four more spots that I really want to check out. Alright, so this isn't a mule deer, but 
I believe that's a diamond pronghorn. It says 98 is the top score, and for those of you that don't know, the scoring is bugged right now, so for higher scoring animals, it literally tells you what their score is. That second number is the actual score of the animal, so this very well could be a diamond pronghorn. So we definitely want to get a good shot on this guy. I came up here to find some mule deer, but instead we've got a potential diamond pronghorn right here. 98 on the high estimate. We should probably get ready to take him. As he's actually alerted. And now he's dead. Nice. That is awesome. That's actually a good one too. That's 92. I should get him down for respawns. All right, that should take him down, even though those shots were terrible. But we just needed to get him down, so that's the main thing there. Let's go get this diamond pronghorn, or what should be a diamond at least. Unless we get completely screwed over by the decimals. Because there's always a chance that it's like 0.1 below. All right, so here we go. Let's see, is this guy going to be a diamond? I'm going to say it's going to be slightly short. I'm going to say 0.2 short. So, let's see. Oh, it's a diamond. Wow. Oh, okay. So the actual diamond score is dead on 98. For some reason, I thought it was like 98.5, but this guy would have made it anyway. 98.8 diamond pronghorn. That's awesome. That is a beautiful pronghorn. We've already got so many of these in the lodge, though. So I don't even know how long this guy will stay up. We'll tax him for now. But I really don't know how long we'll keep him in our lodge since it is a super low scoring pronghorn diamond. But that's still awesome. Definitely did not expect to find a pronghorn on our mule deer hunt. So that's not too bad. We haven't found a lot of big mule deer, unfortunately. Like I was saying, I've been having really bad luck with the high level mule deer on my maps. It's just not been producing as well as I was hoping it would. But at least we've been finding some other cool stuff along the way. All right, here we go with that other pronghorn. This guy's just a 92.60. And yeah, definitely did not get anywhere near the vitals on this guy. I tried to go for a neck shot, as you can see, but just did not connect, unfortunately. But yeah, like I was saying, this guy was nowhere near diamond, so not that big of a deal. All right, so we don't really have anything too insane at this lake. Every single one of these is a level three, and this is what I've been talking about in the last couple of videos. Almost all of my bucks are level three or below. I have to really search for the level fours, and I don't know why that is. They have to be bugged or something. But anyway, let's go ahead and take these guys out. Maybe we'll get lucky and the respawns will be better. All right, should be good. We don't want to kill any more than three or else we risk deleting the zone. What is there? Okay, that's just an elk. All right, well, let's go get these guys. Okay, that's uh... Yeah, that happened. Not exactly the way I wanted that to go, but it happens to the best of us. <laughs> uh, we won't let that happen again. All right, we made it down with barely a scratch. Much better than last time. So we can finally go up and claim our mule deer bucks as the rest of these run off finally. For some reason, they weren't spooking very easily at all and this one's still here for some reason. We're down to 100 meters before it actually fleed away. That's so weird. The first few were fleeing almost immediately when we were 200 meters out, but these ones, they stayed until we were at 100. Very interesting, but let's go ahead and claim all these bucks. Here's one of them. This one looks like we actually dropped it. Oh, yeah. I can see why. Oh my gosh. But because we hit lower neck, we actually got full score on it. That's crazy. That's actually a decent looking level 32. Not too bad at all. And then we got this guy right here. He's a little bit thicker, but not as much length on his tines. Oh my gosh, what is going on? What is happening to me? Is that my M1? That's my M1. What was that? I don't believe I've ever seen that bug before. Interesting. Well, I guess don't hold your gun out when you fast travel or 
something like that. Oh my gosh. That is a level 4 albino. Oh my gosh, that's the biggest one we've seen so far. These guys are so rare, and we've had two within the hour that I've been recording. That is crazy. It took me so long to find my first, and now we have two of them. I really want to take this long shot, but I don't want to mess it up. So I think what we're going to do, we'll, we'll zero to 300. And we'll see if maybe... Since we do have the elevation to worry about, I might have to aim a little bit higher than I normally would. Or not higher, but a little bit lower. Uh, so we don't hit vertebrae, because the elevation does affect the way the bullet travels, so we'll do our best. And I think we got it. Yes, we did. Let's go. Now it's just a matter of was that lungs or did we clip the vertebrae? It had to have been lung lungs. I don't think it would have died like that if it had been vertebrae. I'm pretty sure a vertebrae shot would have killed it instantly. So I've got really high hopes that that was a good shot. Look at this beautiful ram. That is absolutely awesome looking. For being a level 4, that is a really nice looking ram. Honestly, the level 4s look so good. Look at the mass on the back of this guy. That is crazy. I am so happy we finally got a good one. I gotta get a picture of this guy while he's still on the ground. What a beautiful ram. Let's go ahead and claim this guy. Uh, we'll probably claim him right here. This should be relatively clean. Shot, or maybe this side, there we go, 147.80, that is a beautiful animal. This is going to go towards the front of our lodge for sure, like there's no other place to put this guy. This is such an awesome trophy that it's got to get a very good spot in our lodge. That is so cool. That is so cool. It's rare enough just to find an albino bighorn, but to find a level 4 along with a level 2 albino in the same hunt? That's got to be one of the craziest things that's happened to me in quite a while. We've had some pretty crazy hunts recently, but nothing this rare. Like, this is absolutely crazy. Well, I guess on that note... Let's head into our trophy lodge and check all these guys out. Alright, so I know exactly where we're going to put this guy. He's going to take over this spot right here. Actually, wait a minute. We actually can't put it across from the mouflon. That's unfortunate. Uh, that means I'm going to have to find a different spot for him somewhere in the lodge. So I guess what we'll do is we'll remove this mule deer for now. Put the bighorn sheep here. Although I do kind of want a body mount for it. Hold on, I'll find something real quickly, then we'll be back. Alright, there we go. I think that looks pretty good right there. We will have to find a different spot for our albino mule deer. I think the albino will go probably right here. Where do we have it? Right here. Because I guess for the albino, since the entire body is white, you really don't need a full body mount. This shows it off plenty. So, yeah, I think this is probably good for now right here. Uh, we don't have anything else to put on the smaller plaques right now. We'll have to do some kind of a waterfowl hunt in the near future. And maybe try to get some black buck and spring buck and maybe some axis deer for these smaller plaques. Because I do believe you can put axis on those. So, we'll have to get something like that. But let's go find spots to put these other trophies that we got. Alright, so honestly, I don't really have a place that I can put anything else. Because the albino that we just got... And the diamond pronghorn aren't really as good as the stuff we already have in here. I think I might have a female albino bighorn in here that we could replace, but that's about it. So I guess we'll go do that. I'm honestly at a point in this lodge where it's hard to choose what we're going to keep and what we're going to start weeding out. But I guess the one thing that we're definitely going to take away is the female right here. 
And then we'll put this albino male right here. There we go. I think the female might have bigger horns, but it's whatever. I'd rather have the males in the lodge because uh, generally they are bigger and it's nice to have a level 2 and a level 4 for uh, comparison. Eventually we'll probably replace the level 2 with something better, preferably a melanistic uh, bighorn sheep. I'd like to get one of those because I do believe they exist, but they're extremely rare. So that's going to be something that we'll try to get in the future, but as for the diamond pronghorn we got today, I don't really see a spot that we can put it. We've already got too many pronghorn in here, so I'm probably going to start removing some of them and putting other trophies. Alright everybody, well that's going to be it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like, it really helps the channel out. And if you're new here and are enjoying the content, be sure to leave a subscribe, because that also helps me out an absolute ton. But until next time, peace my dudes. If you are new here and you are liking what you see, consider subscribing to the channel and turning notifications on. Also, if you want to help the channel grow, be sure to like the video because this alone can help the video and my channel do better. But that's going to be it for me. Peace, my dudes. I hope you all have a fantastic day.